Defects on muscle biopsy specimen are most often created during fixation and transportation. In principle, artifacts are irreversible and interfere pathological interpretation, and possibly even biochemical and genetic analysis as well. Therefore, proper tissue handling during these processes is crucial. Samples should never be exposed to formalin all through the freeze fixation procedure, including pre- and post-fixation, sample transportation, and preservation. Be cautious with liquid nitrogen and dry ice. Appropriate personal protective equipment should be worn to prevent freeze burns injury. After confirmation of the specimen identification, place the specimen on the cutting board. For electron microscopic evaluation, cut the fresh muscle along the muscle fiber with a width approximately 1 mm. The main part will be used for freeze fixation. Fix the cutout specimen in 2.5 to 4% glutaraldehyde solution for 2 to 3 hours. Transfer the specimen to buffer to stop the fixation process before sending the electron microscopy laboratory at room temperature. Prepare cock discs by serially cut a test tube cock stopper into 3 mm thick discs. Label each cock disc with patient's identifier. Prepare gum tragacanth by adding drops of distilled water into tragacanth powder. Mix till it reaches gum-like texture. Put a small amount of the gum tragacanth, just enough to hold the specimen on the disc. You may make a small hole at the center for the next step. Place the specimen on the cock disc. Cover the bottom of the specimen with gum traga cum, so it will be held upright. Put the specimen on the dampened gauze. Cover it with glass beaker to preserve moisture while preparing for freeze fixation. The best procedure for freeze fixation of a muscle biopsy specimen is isopentane, a liquid nitrogen technique. Acetone and dry ice might be used as an alternative technique when necessary chemicals are unavailable. Prepare dry ice and place an empty specimen vial for the frozen specimen on dry ice in advance. Prepare liquid nitrogen by filling it into a Dewar flask until the flask is half full. Prepare isopentane by filling it into a half or two-third volume of a beaker with a suspension. Put the beaker with isopentane into the liquid nitrogen. The level of liquid nitrogen should be equal or above the level of isopentane. Do not let liquid nitrogen mix into isopentane.
stir isopentane until the crystals appear at the button of the beaker. Now the isopentane temperature is ready for freeze fixation at minus 160 degrees Celsius. Hold the cock part of the specimen with large forceps. Shake the specimen swiftly in cooled isopentane for one minute. Rapidly transfer the frozen specimen onto the dry ice. Keep the specimen in dry ice for a few minutes to let isopentane evaporate. Put the specimen into a vial that was pre-cooled on dry ice. Keep the specimen in deep freezer at minus 80 degrees Celsius or transfer to a referral laboratory with dry ice. Prepare dry ice and place an empty specimen vial for the frozen specimen on dry ice in advance. Pour acetone to fill half of the beaker. Add crushed dry ice into acetone. Keep adding dry ice and stirring until it reaches saturation point that no more dry ice dissolve. The acetone is now at minus 79 degrees Celsius, ready for freeze fixation. Hold the cock part of the specimen with forceps. Shake the specimen swiftly in the cooled acetone for one minute. Rapidly transfer the frozen specimen onto the dry ice. Keep the specimen in dry ice for a few minutes to let acetone evaporate. Put the specimen into a vial that was pre-cooled on dry ice. Keep the specimen in deep freezer at minus 80 degrees Celsius or transfer to a referral laboratory with dry ice.